Craig, disappointing afternoon for you again. Uh, how do you sum it up? It's difficult to sum up. Um, it's just um, the same story, I suppose. I think, obviously, I've got to say, first half, I thought we were decent, to be honest. I thought we played some good football, created some good chances um, on the front foot, played pretty well, and I expected us to go on and win the second half. I think coming out second half, I didn't expect us to play as poor as that, to be honest with you, and it's, um, I need to sit down and think about it because um, how can you play so different from the first half to the second half? Is it attitudes? What is it? Motivation? I'm not sure, but I do know it wasn't good enough. You were severely hampered today by your attacking options or lack of them. Do you, do you feel that played a part? Well, yeah, of course it did. Look, if, if I want to be that manager and look at excuses, then look, we didn't have no forwards available today, really. Um, there's two leading goal scorers that are unavailable. We had two lads this morning pull out with sickness but um, it's still no excuse for that second half performance um, lacklustre um, some players just uh, not good enough and they've given me a lot to think about to be honest Have one or two still signed the death warrants after what you've said over the last few weeks? I think a few have that have signed for next year I mean look things change quickly in football and if people think they can get comfortable and uh, complacent then that's not going to happen um, I do know one thing I won't be having this next year I, I will put myself under pressure I know I've got to get this better because I'm not enjoying watching that it's second week on chart them second half performances are horrendous and it can only be down to players thinking that the season's over it's surely because how can you play pretty well first half if I'm being honest and then sort of just down tools in second half it, it, I'm staggered to be fair and uh, that's everybody included people that are looking for contracts for next year people have already got contracts because I will get this right and I've got to have a better mentality, I've got to have a better dressing room where there's more leaders, more aggression, more will to want to win games of football because I cannot accept that. Is there anybody individually who came out with any credit in your eyes today? Um, a few maybe, I mean look, uh, you always look at it as a team, I mean I thought Jay tried, um, although like we said we didn't have a natural forward to help him, I thought Max had a great first half but obviously we didn't see much of him in the second half, so little people had little spells in the game but that's not what it's about, it's about sort of as a team, what do you bring to win a game of football and as a team it wasn't good enough second half. Three to go, Easter weekend double header, Brackley always one of the toughest trips and then Ashton who might still have something to play for so still some challenges ahead for you? There is and I'm fully focused and motivated to do well but I need to question whether the players are. Are some of them looking to their oldies already, waiting for the season to finish because if they are then they're going to get found out and it's going to be a long three games. We've got an absolute difficult game now against Brackley and we've got other games that are going to be hard and I just, I'll be interested to see because I'll be watching the players and, and I've said that to them because to play in that manner in the second half, I cannot accept that and the fans can't and any criticism or any anything that comes my way, the players' way, we've got to accept because we just didn't look like we were bothered in the second half and that hurts me to say that. Um, so I'll be interested to see the challenges ahead in, in the next three games and we want to try and win games of football. And I don't think you've been out the top half all season, you're clinging on to it now and I presume if nothing else you want to make sure you're in that top half at the end. I, I agree and that's the point I made that, look, Although we might not be where we want to be, we've been a consistent top half team. If we don't pull a finger out and, and get back to it, then we could end up just finishing above the relegations. And, and that'd be horrendous, that, because we have been in the top 10, 11 teams all season. And, and to sort of let it drop now, we're four or five games, the past four or five games, it's not good enough. And that just means that people are down in tools or just thinking that it's over, and it's not. And um, I'll be really interested to see how some players react now in the next three matches.